Hey, Talo Falava. Lantella Dr. John Peterson here with TE2 Edge Sports Cars. Coming at you live and direct from the Twin Cities here in Minnesota. Hope everybody's doing well out there. We've had some really wonderful fall weather here in Minnesota the last week. It's been in the 60s, a little bit in the 70s. Actually, a little bit on the warmer side. We've been a little about 10 degrees warmer than normal these last couple days here in Minnesota, at least in the Twin Cities metropolitan area. But hey, I'm doing good. I've been busy with work as usual, just grinding it out, man, and enjoying every moment of the opportunity to be working and having my own business. And I hope you're doing well with your job and hope everyone is blessed in your families. Hey, I want to do a couple things tonight. I thought I would uh, share with you a few slabs that I've recently put up on my slabs. And I've got a box of cards here that I thought I would crack open that I recently picked up. I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through those, do a little chasing. Haven't done that in a while. Um, I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been watching the videos, uh, subscribing, liking, commenting. Man, much love and one respect, much love, one love and much respect, I should say, to everybody out there for the support and the care. Um, keep checking out the program and share it with others and uh, hopefully we can continue to grow the community here uh, associated with this YouTube channel TE2 Edge Sports Cards. So just a review, uh, I know a lot of people have seen this before but I thought I would do this again. Best way to find uh, TE2 cards in the gallery of greats, the GOG as I like to call it, is to put uh, TE2 in the search bar here. That's the letter T, the letter E, and the number two. And then hit the magnifying glass. And you can see that we've got 430 cards currently in the gallery of grades. So if I increase the view here a little bit, gives you a sense of the cards that are in there. Zoom in one more time. I've uploaded a bunch of the PSA slabs that I got back. So, um, Quite a few pieces in here. This is newest. Um, we've got a bunch of 59s. Got a 61 tops Aaron. Got some Ted Williams. Um, bunch of different nice cards in here. I thought some of these PSA cards were a little undergraded, honestly. I thought that some of them should have been graded a little higher. Like I think this this Willie Mays here. I think that looks more like a five than a four. So the prices do reflect a little bit of an increase based on buy the card, not the slab. I don't know whoever graded these. I think they undergraded some of these a little bit. This maze is a five. I think it looks more like a six. I think you could even argue that it's a 6.5. So anyway, take it for what it's worth. There's best offer opportunities in these cards. The Clemente, you heard me go off about that with PSA. Just being got off with that one. Got a lot of views on that video. Uh, but I was irritated. I'm not going to lie, man. I was. I was upset. Not upset, but just annoyed more than anything else with the inconsistency of PSA. It's just so god dang inconsistent. So. But anyway, check out myslabs.com. Again, TE2. You can find us by just plugging in TE2. Uh, we got wax. You can filter by newest, most views. Uh, you can filter it by uh, most tracked. So, yeah, there's about a bazillion different ways you can slice things up to find this information on myslabs.com. Okay, so there we go with that. And then um, let me just adjust things here a bit. And move over to this view. I'm going to turn this slightly. All right, cool. So I've been watching quite a few videos here in the last couple days, and it seems like there is just constant stuff going on. Oh, my gosh. Uh, CSG's gem rate has decreased considerably in the last month of September, while PSA grading numbers, I shouldn't say gem rate, but gem rate has said that CSG... Uh, number of cards, percentage of cards graded from August to September has dropped. Um, 
the PSA has increased significantly. I think PSA graded over a million cards this past September. That is crazy. That is crazy, crazy. I mean, whether it's Pokemon cards or sports cards or Marvel cards, I don't even know, man. That's just a lot of cards to be grading. So kudos to PSA. You know, I kind of can be hard on them a little bit, but you can't you can't deny the fact that they're in high demand. You know, and when there's high demand, you know, you can kind of run the show and do things how you want. So, you know, kudos to PSA for building that empire out. They are the 500-pound gorilla in the card grading ward room. Uh, what else? I watch Sports Card Radio. Man, they're getting a lot of publicity right now. They did a, an expose piece on Ken Golden. That was classic. I've never been a fan of Ken Golden. Um, I've known of him for a while. I remember him from the 90s. Um, although I didn't buy any cards from him or anything like that. But I do remember hearing the name Golden. Um, and then, of course, Golden Auctions starting in the... Oh, in the last 10 years or whatever. So I've never been a huge fan of him. But you know what? Um, Sports Card Radio did an expose. Good on them. Good on them. As long as they're telling the truth and they're following the, uh, you know, guidelines of doing kind of journalistic uh, work, you know, that's good for them, man. Positive, positive on them. Um, yeah, so otherwise, I mean, I don't know. I've just been kind of following the different stuff with Fanatics and Panini and uh keeping track i mean this the news just turns over so quickly in the hobby these days it's like one day there's something that's big news and then a day or two later it's nothing i think the big piece the overarching piece that i'm hearing a lot of people talk about is that you know the the economy inflation interest rates going up um you know some people say it's a time to be careful and not really spend money and you know, be careful about how you invest in cards. And other people are saying less so, but other people are saying, hey, this is a great time to buy. Um, personally, I am doing both. I'm selling and I'm buying. Um, I don't know. I mean, I want to keep things moving along. So an example, I just sold this card. I just posted it on, on uh, my slabs. I had it listed for 200 Um I sold it for 185. So I had this on my slabs for maybe 30 minutes and it sold for 185. Okay, I sold this last night for 75. It's a 56 tops Eddie Matthews in a PSA four. All right, I have one in an SGC slab that's a six. So I was definitely okay with parting with this one. Um, have sold any number of cards, sold a 61 tops Hank Aaron, uh, last weekend or last last week sold a 60 all-star McCovey but I've also made some purchases too I picked this up which I thought was a steal I picked up this lamello ball last week and it came in the mail a couple days ago um, yesterday actually I got this for $50 a pristine 10 lamello rated rookie uh, 2020 2021 rookie card so that, that I thought was pretty cool. Um, what else can I say? I picked up some wax, so I thought I would share a little box break action. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go with this bad boy here. thought I'd crack this open, see what's inside of this. I never bought any of this 2002 Topps Chrome uh, Series 1, so... I don't know, I figured, why not pick up a box of this? Prices on wax have been dropping. Um, you can find pretty good deals on wax these days, and I figure, why not? Might as well see what's in this. So let's do a little chase and see what's in this box. A 2002 Tops Series 1 Chrome. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Here we go. Yeah, so I've been selling cards on my slabs and I put in my name for a table at the card show for this upcoming weekend. I haven't heard back if I've gotten a table yet or not. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I sure do hope I do get in because I'd like to sell some more cards and 
continue to work with people. Ooh, yeah, wow, you don't get many thick, you don't get a lot of cards in these. You only get four cards in each pack. That's not very much. Doesn't look like there's any bricking to speak of, which is good. Well, I can save this cardboard and use it. Use this to package cards. Put that back here behind me. All right, so how many packs do we have here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I didn't, I never bought any of these cards um, back when they were being sold. So I'm kind of curious as to what these look like. And I mean, I know what the tops 2002 cards look like because I've opened up some ones that were not Chrome, but you know what? I'm gonna use the scissors again as is my custom. So who are some of the big chase cards in this set? Series one. Well, I'm probably thinking Pujols. I don't know if Ichiro is in this. I think these are gold or yellow cards too, right? Oops. So we'll see what we get in this. I think there's an autograph card in each one of these boxes too. Yeah, and you know, people say, oh, don't open the wax, you're gonna lose money. Yeah, probably. But part of the fun of opening cards is getting the packs and getting the boxes. And I didn't really buy this for the point of resale value. There's some decent cards there. A little Chuck Knobloch action. Make a little pile here. So 2002 Topps Chrome Series 1. That's 20 years old, man. That's a long time. It's a long time ago. I was in my third year of teaching in 2002. I started as an educator in 1999. I taught for seven years and then was an administrator for another 10. And then have been running my own business for the last three, four years. There's a CC Sabathia rookie card. It's cool. It'd be kind of fun to get a pool holes, a second year pool holes, a rookie cup. Okay. So pool holes, by the way, has 702 home runs, which is fantastic. He's one RBI away from being the second, having the second most RBIs of any player in the history of Major League Baseball. That is an amazing feat. Yeah, I think that's actually as impressive or more impressive than the 702 home runs. I just love this time of year. I mean, the playoffs are about, are about to start. We've got NFL football. We've got college football. We've got NBA basketball preseason getting started with the NBA season. I mean, it's just, there's a Sammy Sosa. That's cool. How many home runs did he have in? We had 64 in 2001. Wow. Wow. It's hitting bombs. And there's a Roy Oswald. A little print print line across the front there. So yeah, uh, baseball season, the postseason's about to kick up. Super fun time. I think most of the most of the spots are filled with teams. I think there might be like one team in the National League. Or one spot in the National League that hasn't been entirely, for sure, been settled. Jim Edmonds. What do we got here? A gold card. J. Bell. Tops Chrome. Gold. J. Bell. Okay. Not really a great card to get the J to the Topps Chrome gold card, but you know, it is what it is. You're gonna win some of these packs and you're gonna lose some. You're gonna win some and lose some. Hopefully I get a couple cards that I can send in to get graded. That'd be kind of fun. So Pujols, man, what an incredible career. 
I think he should come back. I mean, goodness gracious, he had a, had a great year. I never wanted him to leave St. Louis in the first place. I thought he was would have been great if he had stayed in St. Louis. Jerry Hairston, Jose Cabrera, Eric Milton. Yeah, it's just really the hobby is so interesting right now because a lot of people have probably lost their shorts because of uh, buying in at the high point. And, uh, you know, that's too bad. You're going to win some and you're going to lose some. There's no doubt about that. I think we got another. Nope. Oh, oh. Johnny Mize reprint. 52. That's cool. The big cat. Johnny Mize. That's a cool card. I don't think I'll get that graded, but it's a fun card nonetheless. Love to get that in the the real deal card. Wonder what that's worth. Probably not a ton because it's not on not centered, but Juan Gonzalez. Hmm. Oh, this is fun. I never opened up any of this Tops Chrome from 2002. I opened up some Tops 2001 Chrome back in the day. Just happened in 2001 to get into buying cards again after a break of almost 10 years. Nick Jackson, prospect, okay. Randy Wynn, Carlos Delgado. All right, nothing too, nothing too big yet. Yeah, Sports Card Radio, man, they've been on fire lately. I don't know if you watch Sports Card Radio, but you definitely should check them out. Um, I like watching the Sports Card Dad. He keeps it pretty real. I like his stuff. Of course, I watch a little Sports Card Investor. Guilty pleasure. A lot of people pounding on Jeff Wilson right now. Oh, my God. Just He's just getting annihilated by different kinds. Man, Genie, Sports Card Radio, AIH. They're just destroying this guy. <laughs> I, I almost feel bad. What do we got here? I almost feel bad for him. Keith Osick. Yeah. Not much there with Keith Osick. But I don't know. It is what it is, man. I don't get into the, the drama too much. I just open up my cards and get my cards graded and... Get my cards back and upload them into my slabs. I haven't been doing jack on eBay. Man, eBay is just something else with the fees. I just can't handle it right now. Paul O'Neill. Aaron Boone. And Rafael Palmero. So, yeah. I spent a little money on this box. I've also been making a little money selling cards. My PayPal account's doing pretty decent. Yeah, so check out my MySlabs page. and I call it the Gallery of Greats. Um, there's a ton of nice cards in there. I mean, and you can always access uh, my MySlabs page by clicking in the upper right-hand corner of this video or any of my videos and just clicking the, the I icon Ooh, billy martin okay tom kelly sean casey well, this one looks pretty nice this one's pretty centered that's a cool card billy martin i like that i like that a lot billy martin was a real scrapper you're not one you'd want to tie in with he'd, he'd, he'd fight you tooth and nail was in many a scrap. He was a pretty fiery character, fiery individual, especially as a player and manager. Bobby Valentin. Fernando Vina. He was a nice player. Try not to glare this up on you. Ramon Ortiz. 
and Larry Walker. Larry Walker is a nice player. I wonder if he'll make the Hall of Fame, Larry Walker, or is he already in the Hall of Fame? Let me know in the comments below. Larry Walker, Hall of Fame? I want to say no, but I, but I don't know for sure. So overall, it's been a good week. Like I said, I'm waiting to hear back from the Twin Cities Collectors Club, Sports Card Collectors Club, whatever that acronym stands for, to see if I got a table for Saturday. If so, looking forward to setting up. Jeez, this is a little bit tougher to get out this pack. There we go. Tony Perez, Shannon Stewart, what do we got? Daryl Ward. Well, you get a gold card about every three packs, that's kind of cool. Luis Gonzalez, he was a nice player. Yep, been working, working, working. Lots of projects going on. Some of it's research-based, some of it's policy-based, some of it's family engagement-based. Just kind of depends. Homer Bush, Brian Bohannon. Andy Pafko, nice. Yeah, Andy Pafko, he's from near my hometown, Boyceville, Wisconsin. Yeah, I like Andy Pafko. He's a cool cat. I actually picked up an Andy Pafko rookie card here recently for just a few bucks. Where is that card? I found this on an auction. Bought this for like 15 bucks. Look at that. Andy Pafko rookie card. Yeah. It's like from a from like a bread. Uh, a bag of bread. <laughs> Andy Pafko. I played on Andy Pafko Field back when I was a little kid in Boyceville, Wisconsin. Good man, Andy Pafko. He's a good man. He was a good man. And a good player, too. All right. So, Packers won. That was cool. Glad to see them win in overtime, beat New England. Barely. The way that they're playing right now is not sustainable. They need to be playing better. Better offense, better defense. Corey Koski. Eddie Talbensey. Who's this? Joe Randa. Don't know much about Joe Randa. All right, let's keep going. We're looking for something, something good. You never know what you're going to pull out of these packs. going to be tough to get something though because this is a pretty decent size set. Scaprocious. Gold card. Cliff Floyd. <laughs> and Danny Graves. All right. How many packs we got? About eight, nine left. All right. Here we go. Now I do have another box of something that I could open up if you recommend it. I will do it. I don't even know what time it is right now. Is it nine? Let's see what time it is. It is nine o'clock, eight fifty-nine, almost nine o'clock. I gotta get this video uploaded for sure. Okay, Ramon, Raymond Cabrera, Matt Williams, Matty Williams, remember him? Shea Hillenbrand, and Robin Ventura. So far, nothing that I would probably get graded. I don't really get into grading reprints all that much. Although I guess you could, depending on what it's worth. A mantle reprint, 52? Maybe I would. Maybe I would. Okay, here we go. Scott Wiggins. Marquise Grissom. Todd Hollinsworth. And Frank Mancino. Mene Frank Menachino. Nice. 
I need a Albert Mena Pujols. <laughs> I would love one. I don't necessarily need one, but it would be fun to get one. Some sort of an autograph card of maybe a good player. Bobby Cox. He was a great, great manager. Who do we got next? John Lieber. Glendon Rush. Ryan Colmer. Yeah, I wonder what these ran for back in the day. Relic card. Packs with a relic card contain three cards. Okay, good to know. I haven't gotten a relic card yet. Oh, looks like there's a gold card in here. Ooh, race to 73. Okay, I wonder what that's worth. Adam Kennedy. And then what do we have on back here? A gold card. Greg Maddox. Okay. All right. That's a decent pack. Race to 73. Yeah, that's right. Bonds hit 73 in 2001. Okay, these are a little bit better cards. I'm sure they're not worth a ton, but you know what? It's okay. It's the risk you take when you buy wax and rip it open. Or foil packs, as I, as I should say. Jim Tracy. Good old Jim Tracy. Ryan Recker. Or Reeker. John Flaherty. Not to be mistaken with John Fogarty. Lead singer of Credence Clearwater Revival. We got any CCR fans out there? Any Credence Clearwater Revival fans? I love CCR. Man, they got some great songs. Green River. Lodi. Oh, my goodness. Who'll cool Stop the Rain. So many great songs. Looks like there's some sort of a something in here. Oh, got another... Another Johnny... Two Johnny Mize reprints in the same box. Well, that's kind of interesting. What are the odds of that? Man, look at that. Look at the glint on that thing. Bright. All right, Johnny Mize. Yeah, still off-center, though. Not really centered grid, so. It's still cool. Pat LaDuca, Andy Ashby. We're down to our last three packs. Ramon Hernandez. F what? Three Oakland A's. Jason Isringhausen. Okay, three Oakland A's in the same pack. That's odd. Maybe that means something's about to happen. Something good, something lucky, something fortunate. Keith Osick. Derek Lee. Esteban Loaiza. Gold card. Wow. Not what I was hoping for. All right, if we don't get something a little better than this, I might have to bust open the next box. But I might do it in a separate video. Get two videos out of this rather than one. Kilvio Veras. Dave Martinez. And Graham Lloyd, the last cards of the box. All right, what'd we get? Race to 70. This is number 73. That might actually be worth a little bit. 
Looks like it's pretty centered. I don't think it's numbered though. That's just too bad. The Maddox. And then the two reprints, Martin and Pathco. Okay, I'm going to stop this video. And then I'm going to start another one and get two videos out of this. All right, peace out, one love.